you so much for staying tuned to Champions TV. This is Nature Talk and I'm your host, Grace Aching. Now, wildlife is very important resource in our country. And actually, some of the important roles they play include maintaining the ecological stability. They also promote our local and national economy and finally, they have important genetic resources which can be used in the biotechnological industries to promote uh, development and avoid issues like food security. Wildlife trade is just among the most critical emerging global issues in our country today. And this is why our guest in studio today is going to talk to us more about illegal wildlife trade. So stay tuned to Champions TV. Remember, you can also join our conversation by sending us a direct text message to the number displayed on the screen. You can also SMI, uh, send us a comment through our Facebook page. That is at Champions TV Kenya. You can also follow us uh, on YouTube at Champions TV Kenya. So our guest in studio today is Ezekiel Odongo once again, and he is going to talk to us more about illegal wildlife trade. So once again, welcome to our studios. Thank and you, just guys. begin by explaining to us what illegal wildlife trade means. Illegal wildlife trade, from the word illegal, meaning, meaning not permitted by the law. So illegal wildlife trade is trading, exchanging wildlife for money or for any other gain against the law. That is illegal wildlife trade. Mm -hmm. Yes. People yeah. traffic, you know, wildlife in exchange for other things, money and so on and so forth. Okay. And so what are just some of these uh, wildlife things that we are talking about here? Well, when you talk of wildlife uh, products, for example, there are some wildlife that are ma ma majorly traded for. I mean, what they need is simply the skin. Some wild, wild animals are taken for skin. We have got the tusk, of course, the elephant. Uh, the teeth of the rhino, I seen that. Yes, and uh, some animals, for example, the pangolins, they take uh, the, the scales of the pangolin and some are also used for meat. Uh, actually, there are so many, you can't really exhaust the kind of things that people take from the wildlife. Mm -hmm. Even trees. Yes, some they used to make some ornaments. Uh, some of them they used to, you know, for medicinal purposes and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, actually, why is it that this trade is really growing currently? Now, Greece, there are plethora of reasons as to why Wild, illegal wild, uh, wildlife trade is, uh, is uh, flourishing. Number one reason is poverty. Uh, when people are pressed from all corners, people are pressed by poverty. They're between the hard surface and the rock. All they see around, um, and they, 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 they see the wildlife around, and they know something good can come out of this wildlife that they see around. Most of them go for such. I get in that without considering the serious consequences that come along, they go ahead and use the wildlife in exchange to get something. Another thing is, uh, you know, the general lifestyle of people. Uh, nowadays, people have very funny pets, very funny animals for their pets. Some of them have baboons and the rest. So they just want to feel good having these kind of animals around them. And in so doing, there is serious demand for such animals because of people's lifestyle. They want to have such kind of animal, animals for pets. And also, you know, uh, the medicinal value. Some animals are traded, or from some plants, are traded because of the medicinal value. Uh, you know, the kind of things they have. Another thing when, when you, uh, that is under the, um, the lifestyle, the ornaments. Look at the ornaments around young people, ladies, and any other person, people are putting on very, some very fantastic animals. I mean ornaments. Some of these ornaments come from, I mean, uh, the wildlife. Take an example of the, the, pangol, uh, the, the, the nails, the fantastic nails that, you know, ladies put here and there. Some of them are from the pangolin scales. Did you, did you know that before? Yeah. And so on and so forth. Another one is um, 
you know, the population pressure. Because of population that people want to settle, they clear trees, they clear bush, and you know, they clear very, very important uh, plants here and there just to get somewhere to stay. And all kinds of things. Another, another major drive is corruption. You get me, you find me trading illegally on wildlife. And because you're so hungry, you also need something to eat, and I give you money. So you leave me and I go scot free. And so corruption is actually the backbone of the illegal wildlife trade, mm -hmm. to be sincere. Okay. Yes. And you have just mentioned uh, the tree pangolin mm -hmm. as a sample of an animal that is actually being traded illegally. Yes. What are some of the other examples of animals that are being traded illegally? Yes. We have you know, the popular ones. Mm -hmm. For example, when you talk of the elephant, it's everywhere, all over the news, it's a global issue. Mm -hmm. Elephant is traded on a very high note because people take tasks, which is very expensive. People kill animals left and center. In fact, right now, as you speak, the population of elephant has drastically reduced just because of that. We also have, you know, the rhinos. People kill rhino for their teeth and and, uh, and, uh, and also, and, uh, of course, and all kinds of things. And um, including even animals like baboons and the rest, you'd be surprised. People buy them, people sell them, people trade on them because some of them use them for uh, pets. I mean, they have them as pets and so on and so forth. Okay. Yeah, so many are happening around in the field of and, uh, wildlife. Why is it easy to kill these animals or perhaps capture them? Now, Grace, that is very serious because you can't push the blame to the animals. The reason as to why killing of animals is rampant is because due to the increase in technology and the globalization. There are all kinds of weapons that people have that they don't need to struggle pursuing an animal. The weapon will pursue the animal on their behalf. So someone can be hiding somewhere, and because they have access to guns, as some of them, you know, they get illegally, they can easily kill those animals from a distance. And so the killing of the animals become easy because of the weapons that are circulating all over. Yes, and the technology that is there. Yes, even if you don't know, some of them even go and you know, research on the YouTube and also on, so on and so forth to get ways to capture them. And even the animals which have to be transported alive, they, they have designed criteria to capture them and attenuate them, that is to make them you know, harmless and take them wherever they want to take them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do this uh, wildlife that are being traded, mm -hmm. do they have... Uh, harmful effects to us, especially when we are exposed to them, maybe directly or indirectly? Now, when you're asking if that is, come up with the question once again, that is if the, if the, if the animals have negative consequences or if the act of trading of them has negative consequences. If the animals, yes. the, uh, or rather the plants, mm -hmm. if they have direct effects to us. Now, it is serious. Let's start for, uh, for example, the plants itself. Trading on plants has tremendous negative consequences. Take an example, you know, the so-called the genetic resources. Now, this is when people go to the dry places to check the genetics. I mean, the, comp the energy components of plants that are able to withstand the pressure, I mean, the, 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 the pressure in the, in, the, in the dry areas and extract the genes and introduce them into the plants in the low areas, for example, you know, the maize and the rest, so that they are able to survive adverse weather conditions. Now, if those plants are taken away, it means we no more have this kind of genes, this kind of transfer of genes that enable food plants to withstand this kind of environments. And that is a major threat to the food security. If we cannot have plants which can acclimatize to the everyday changing climate, then let me tell you 
our food security is, uh, is something you cannot accurately rely on. So that's a major thing. And of course we have trees. And some, like I said before, some, some of these trees are traded on because of uh, a few things. For example, uh, some of them are used to carve things, you know, to make a few things here and there that people like buying. And also some of them are taken because of the medicinal value. And we all know that trees are irreplaceable. If this thing increases, then we stand high chances of even acquiring some very dangerous diseases. Okay? Mm -hmm. Generally, trees are meant to purify air. Trees purify air. That is why you go to a place where there is no tree. Believe you me, people in that area stand risks of acquiring uncommon diseases just because of that. And so, the consequence, the negative consequences of such kind of activity are inexhaustible. You can't exhaust fully. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what about the effect on the local and the national economy? Very serious. It's very serious. Mm -hmm. Like I said last time when you were here, tourists come to Kenya to watch the wildlife. If there is no wildlife, believe you me, the number of tourists visiting this nation will reduce with a very higher percentage. And of course we know a country like Kenya majorly depends on tourists as the major source of revenue. So reduction of tourism is reduction of the economy, is reducing the economy seriously, interfering with the economy seriously. And it starts locally, but it extends internationally. So this is something that can affect economy seriously. Because now, the, the, the moment you kill an animal, or the moment, the moment you kill someone, and then you, uh, you take a tree, replacing it may, is not that easy. Repla replacing it is not very easy. So it's affecting seriously. Yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for staying tuned to Champions TV. And you have heard from the horse's mouth that indeed illegal wildlife trade is so, so dangerous as far as our local and national economy is concerned. We are going for a short commercial break and we will be right back. Stay tuned to Champions TV where we empower people.